Hello, my name is Andy Tattersall and this is a Mendeley Masterclass. Uh, this is going to show you how to batch tag. So when you add uh, items into your Mendeley database, um, you'll need to tag them. So um, if I click on this one here, uh, you'll notice that this one has uh, just one tag. I've given it Impact Toolkit. It's for a piece of work uh, that I'm doing with a colleague. <clears throat> now, for a lot of... Um, papers that you may add you may need multiple tags and it is always good good practice to put in at least three or four tags that will allow you to put your references into different kind of pockets that you can kind of pull out depending on their tags batch tagging is where you uh, maybe do a search or maybe collect an awful lot of uh, references in one go and then uh, want to batch tag them together because they're going to all have the same identifiers for you to kind of discover them so tags are terms that you give a reference uh, or any kind of digital artifact that allows you to find it um, it's a good way it's your own kind of cataloging system so it's good to have a, a system and stick with it and, and make sure you remain as consistent as you can so to batch tag this is fairly straightforward so if we look here I've got around 10, 11 art articles I added on the uh, 7th of July. And all I do is I click on the first one, hold down shift, and then with the down key of my computer, I can go and select all those papers at once. If I now go to tags, I can put in a, um, a, tag, uh, a tag. So let's say I'll give it the tag HAR655, which is a module number. Uh, and then I just hit... Um, semicolon and then give it another um, another name I'll just call it let's say I'll call it um, conclusion okay so it can be whatever it can be whatever you think it is the, the way that you identify it so you know your tags could be um, your dissertation it could be a module number it could be a topic you know it could be keywords it could be things like HIV heart disease uh, health economics whatever you whatever you whatever you see fit and then just hit enter and uh, I'm done so if I now click away from uh, this and then go back to my uh, collection of references from the 7th of July if I click on any you'll notice now that that one has the tags conclusion HR 655 if I click on that one uh, this also has the same tag they've all got the same tags because I've done them at the same time so that one there has got the same tags so that is how you batch tag. It's a useful one to do if you're doing large collections and large searches at once.